Hey everyone, and welcome to Valkyrie Gaming. <laughs> I don't even know how to I don't even know how to start this. It's been such a long time since I've done a Q&A. Two years ago, I did my first Q&A video, which was for 100 subscribers. And I decided I was gonna do one at each milestone. So now that I'm back on YouTube, I hit 500, which is wild. You all are so, like I've said this a million times, I will say it continually, you all amaze me. You are so cool. I appreciate you, your presence here. I appreciate your interaction with the videos as much or as little as you want. That's, that's the whole thing with my channel. Like, it's literally just, it's supposed to be like a chill place. That's fun, uplifting. You know, I just want to be like a support. Cause like when I watch YouTube videos, that's literally what I, I want. Like, I don't know, someone to hang out with in a way. So that's what my channel is for you, I hope. Anyways, I got our off track already. I literally, I have my little notes here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Q&A and then at the end, I'll like wrap up on my thoughts of being past the 500 subscriber mark. I wanna start by saying, if you notice the sound quality is a little different, it's because I'm officially a YouTuber. <laughs> As like a celebration present of 500 subscribers, I bought myself a new mic. And I literally, it's so much fun. I like usually just record either directly through my computer or through my old crusty Diva Overwatch headset that I've had for years. But now I have a mic. I feel official. I feel like I'm actually recording stuff. It's, it, I don't know, it's really fancy. I have like a pop filter and everything. I'm still getting used to the settings. So if it's a little off, that's why. But I don't know. Thank you guys, like your presence is super supportive. So I wanted to thank you guys again for those of you who sent in comments. Um, there were two channels where that happened. That was on the community tab and my Twitter account as well, which I need to use more. I, I totally get, I need to use that more. But I have some questions from people that I would love to answer. We're gonna switch, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Guys, I had the most amazing game in Apex lately, recently, no, no, literally it was last night. I was absolutely like on top of it. I don't know what, how, when, why, where. Anyways, I clutched the end. It was great. So as I record my Q and A, I'm just gonna be playing it in the background. So first we are going to head over to Twitter. Um, I had some people who have been here for a long time asking me questions. So I really appreciate that. Max, who has also been on my Discord server forever and ever. Max, you are amazing. Max asked, what software do I use? So I've actually changed software since my be the beginning of my channel and I will have to again. Right now I have access to the Adobe Creative Suite because I'm a student. So I use Premiere Pro right now. It's so much better than After Effects. Don't ever use After Effects to record or edit videos. Don't ever, it's, no. Why did I just relinquish, I just relinquished Jump Master. Oh well, whatever. Oh, and we're landing first? I, I need, hold on, I'm spinning too. I need to watch this a little bit because I'm kind of shocked I'm, I did such a good win in this whole Apex game. Did I, no one landed with us, that's why. Usually I get taken out in the first 30 seconds. Look, there I am landing. Yeah, so this is like a post-mortem um, commentary. Was there an entire shield I missed right there? No, I didn't. Okay, that's, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's the Loba instincts coming in. I just need to know where that stuff is at all times. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So right now I use Premiere Pro, which is so much better so much better. It renders a lot faster, it's more efficient, um, and oh, I forgot. Y'all, I literally destroyed people in this match with a charge rifle. With a charge rifle. That, I usually, you know, I was feeling it. I was like, you know, I'm gonna use a charge rifle. Look at all those. Why did I pick all that up? It does take me like an hour and a half to do anything, like in the menu, because I'm just, my brain doesn't process it, but like, I'll, I think I'll just have to practice. Look at me being a good and nice Loba. See, I just want to help out my um, Valkyrie and, and Caustic. Such a lovely team comp. That was me, that right there was me um, trying to figure out, like, if I heard enemy footsteps. No, it's just Caustic speaking loud. That's it, that's all it was. Anyways, so the next question is from Gal Sal, who has been here since the start of the channel. Oh, get him! Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. 
I don't know why you were walking in the- <gasps> And they're close? They're glad- I forgot they were that close. Look at that. Look at that. My teammates cracked the shield and I just- I- <gasps> I'm finishing her? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Also, how, how did she get a purple knockdown shield that early? Also, how did we not fight them earlier? If we were in the exact same spot, she had a black market open. Sorry, anyways, back to Gal Sal, who also does amazing content on YouTube. Gal Sal asked, what has been the most challenging part of content creation? And I think, hands down, it has been balancing school and YouTube. Balancing my already low energy sometimes, my mental health in YouTube, um, before when editing was literally the worst thing to ever happen. And I still don't, I don't, I don't enjoy it. What am I doing? Girl, you can't ping that from that far away. What do you, okay, sorry. <laughs> so it's been really difficult, especially heading into senior year. Um, I literally had the six month break, which was wild. And I'm, I know I needed to take it, but I'm so, so grateful I'm back. Um, it has been so much fun to like, hang out with you guys again. And I know it's gonna take a little while to kind of recover from that fate, that that period of not being active, but it's already, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Look, Valkyrie was so taken aback by that she didn't even do her voice line on the initial launch. <laughs> Black market. Okay, now now I'm enthralled by this gameplay. How did I do so well in this game? And yet be so dumb at the same time. And now the caustic is fighting with a nemesis literally 200 meters away with, I bet, a, a 1x max equipped. Maybe the blue 2x with the little zoom in. Did I try to hit someone through a window? Okay. Anyways. Senior year definitely has been difficult. Um, coming back into YouTube with my last um, little bit of senior year, crazy. I'm on this huge project. Oh, it is amazing. It's so much fun. I love the people there, but we work our butts off and it's been, it's been difficult kind of balancing things. I don't know, I don't know. I think once I'm done with college, it will be a little bit easier to spend more time and maybe I don't know, I can't do YouTube full time because like, I'm not monetized, I'm not making any money off of it. So it wouldn't be realistic to do it full time, but I'd like to do it a little bit more. I'd like to get, you know, a little more into YouTube and it'd be cool to do streaming again. I really, I liked streaming when I did it. I did like a Apex stream a while ago. A while, a while ago, by the way, that's like six months ago. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Why was I looking that far for that much long? <laughs> this is the commentary you would get from Apex stuff. So yeah, um, getting a little taste of it. But anyways, so thank you Gal Sal for that question. Definitely something I still need to work on for the most challenging part of content creation. It's not done, it's still challenging. But you know what? I missed making videos. So now I'm back and I absolutely love it. So the next, the next question, which was from Pinpoint on YouTube, Wait a minute, hold on. I want to watch me absolutely wreck this Gibby real quick. Look at this. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter that he's fortified. I have a charge rifle. Who do you think I am? Do you think I'm going to wait and just wait for you to like keel over and die? No. Oh wait, I remember this. Look at this. Look at him. And then a Loba. Look at this Loba. I don't know why I didn't reload right then. Cause look, she's obviously busy. <laughs> she's busy. Look at this, wait, wait, wait. You can't even see this because the recording's so Look, she's reviving actively right now and she's not pulling away. Look at that, that's crazy. Why would you not pull away when you're getting charged, burned by a charge rifle? Those rifles are made to take down literal titans. Like, what? Anyways, there's the triggers right there. Pinpoint, back to pinpoint. Oh no, 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 wait, actually I'm curious. What happens here? Look at me, look at me forgetting how to move. See, my teammates are the reason why I did so good this game. They cracked everybody, they were on top of it. It was a team effort, I'm just gonna tell you that. It's a team effort, everyone did great. There's me getting some more ammo, because I think I probably needed it. Anyways, 
pinpoint, ask a question, one of the most important questions of all time that I'm sure so many people want to know. Do you think you'd go back to play the Slug Cat Death Simulator on the channel? And the answer is yes. In fact, my first Rain World downpour video is up right now. I'm giving you all two videos in one day. Two videos in one day, we are abs thriving. We're thriving. So yes, Rain World downpour has officially started on my channel and I hope you all enjoyed. It, it was super fun to record. Mr. Dill, who's also a supporter of Rain World downpour, so don't worry. Rain World content is here. It's, it's happening. It's happening now. Um, they asked me what inspired me to get into game design, and literally, it was Hollow Knight. Hands down, Hollow Knight. That was my first indie game I ever played. It was my first game I really like researched myself and, and decided, wow, I want to I want to try this. It seems new. Seems by the time it was like in 2017, 2018, I forget. So it wasn't like that well known at the time. But it was just, it was such an amazing experience. It was, it was beautiful, it was amazing, and I was like, I need to make art like this. I need to be a part of the community like this. This is amazing. I had the most uh, like awesome Hollow Knight experience. I beat it on my MacBook. Yeah, my MacBook. That's, that's where, that, those are my origins. <laughs> so, if you feel like you don't have the right equipment to like either do YouTube, do gaming, don't worry, you can do it, you can do it too. Banana Phone asked me, what was your hardest video to make and why? So I think honestly, not to be depressing, but like my early videos, especially Senua's Sacrifice and Hyperlight Drifter, I was really like chronically ill at the time, but it was super hard to make videos because there were times, I think there's this one Hellblade video where I'm like talking about how much, oh, look at me dance, girl, ooh, get it, yes. There's this one video where I'm like talking about like how much my stomach hurts because I was having like horrible like stomach issues. And I was like, I'm in so much pain right now, but I'm trying to beat this boss. And so I just, I don't, honestly, where I got that, that strength and energy, don't even know. I don't know how. I think honestly my channel is how I got through that. And finally, Manigoldo, who is absolutely amazing and who inspired me to choose a specific path for the Rain World DLC. They ask for some insights or anecdotes about my game design studies and one of my favorite games. Favorite games, obviously, Hollow Knight, a classic. Um, what else? Hyperlight Drifter, a classic. Absolutely. I loved Red Dead Redemption 2. That game made me cry. I loved, um, I don't know, I love just watching a bunch of games. I watch YouTube Let's Plays all the time. What other games? I don't know. Like, I love horror games, but for a while, I was too scared to even play any. Way too scared to even play any. In fact, my first horror game I ever played in my life is actually recorded on this channel. I played FNAF 1. And I had already seen the whole thing, and I was terrified I couldn't even beat the first night. <laughs> so, obviously, we've seen some growth here, which is literally all that matters. Ooh. Oh, they're seeing people, but I'm not. From this angle, I'm not seeing anyone. And Mena Goldo also asks for some anecdotes in my game design studies. I did my first global game jam recently. It was amazing. It was a um, global game jam, but, oh, get it. Specifically for school, um, we had a 48 hour period to make a game and we made this amazing like Super Mario Odyssey style, low poly, um, super cute game about a rabbit and a space chicken. And it was amazing. And it was my first time actually getting a game out to be judged. And we won um, one of like the school awards, not like a, a whole like, giant award, but we, it was a big team. Cause usually, well, it depends, but like for our schools particularly, Game Jam games are usually pretty small teams. We had like, instead of the classic, oh look, oh yeah, yeah, get him. Instead of the classic like 10, like five or six, we had, we had over 20 people and we made something really awesome. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at that. See, why did I jump down without uh, shielding? <gasps> They're both down. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. Anyways, anecdote, game jam. I did that recently, absolutely loved it. I will tell you all more anecdotes after we get done with how amazing I did at this part. Everyone's dead at this point. There are four squads left. <laughs> They're fighting each other. I'm getting chased by a revenant who I know is timed out right now. So I'm like, I'm just gonna hunt you down and you're stuck there. You're stuck there. And everyone dies to the ring. Watch this, watch this. 
I'm already knocking down people. Look at my health in the bottom left. This is absolutely wild. Um, the ring's killing everyone known to man. I become kill leader? Uh-huh. See? That's what I'm saying. And then that's how it happens. <laughs> I have never in my life clutched anything, ever. Oh, look, you can see me in the top left probably freaking out, um, talking. I don't know why. Um, I think I was just as surprised as everybody else. <laughs> But anyways, that's the end of the Q&A. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more, but if you wanna go see the Rain World video, go. Go, go watch. What are you doing here? Go, hurry. <laughs> go watch, it's up now. Please, please go enjoy. I'm so excited to have it up. Um, for those of you who are staying, I wanna take a little more of a deep dive into the channel. So just hanging out here, um, just looking at my channel, I don't know, it's kind of fun to go back. I wanted to take a second and like kind of look, where is it? Look at all this stuff. Look at all this, this is crazy, this is like, Oh, this one was, this video was hard to make. Um, I don't know if you, you probably can't see my mouse. I was, I was, can you see me spastically on the right? I don't know. Where's my hundred, hundred, this one? It's gonna be so cute. Hey, this is like Inception. Welcome to my 100 subscribers Q&A. Q&A. Q &A. <laughs> Wait. So cool. I know that this is the milestone that people talk oh. about, so even though numbers don't really matter to me, I True. want to say thank you so much for being here. What yeah, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm just gonna have this play. It's kind of fun. I haven't played Destiny in a hot minute, but oh my gosh, look at my hunter. This is the farm. This is how long ago this was. It was before everything I ever cared about got vaulted. Anyways. I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool to look back. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen with this channel in terms of growth. I know people tell me growth only happens through numbers, but honestly, I'm just so grateful you all are here. And I, I recognize numbers are like the easiest way to see growth, but looking at all these videos, I feel like I've grown a lot as a person, I've grown a lot in my art form, even how I make thumbnails is different. First of all, I tried the Markiplier thumbnail for these ones, can you tell? I tried a little bit of a Markiplier inspired creepy thumbnail. <laughs> but like, I don't know, it's just so, it's so exciting. It's so cool, I could literally see growth through the thumbnails. Like look at the, look at the, the first ones. I even have like words on it. Oh, oh, and if you all want some deep cuts, there's some videos with only 10 views, so don't watch them. <laughs> Please, spare me. I don't even wanna know what it was like. But anyways, thank you all so much for being here. I have some awesome games planned for you guys. I have Rain World, of course, which is up now. It's up now, you can go watch it. It's literally up. Go, go, I played the, the chubby cat, the chonky cat, it's so cute. So Rain World is up. I also bought um, Telltale's Walking Dead, which I am going to be experiencing completely blind. Um, I might finish Resident Evil 4, even though the remake literally just came out. Um, I don't think I have $60 to spend on a full game, so I might just go and finish the series because I miss Leon. Honestly, that's literally the only reason. <laughs> that's it. Third part three, yeah, yeah, that's the only reason why I would play it again. I just miss Leon, that's all. <laughs> um, I also was thinking of playing Resident Evil 6 campaigns because why not? That slaps, that sounds like so much fun. Oh my gosh. Um, and then of course I have Subnautica, which I pretty much have all recorded and finished. Um, I just have to edit it. Um, if you have any game suggestions, if you ever wanna talk, if you wanna ever want some support, our Discord server is in the description of my videos. I hope it's still, I think the link still works. I'm just, I don't know, I feel refreshed. I feel so excited to like make videos again. I'm feeling really inspired. I, I'm so excited for what this channel will turn into. I don't know, I don't know if it's like a, a big thing or just like a, a niche thing, but I'm super glad you're here to join me on this journey. Thank you for being here. Go watch Rain World if that's what you're here for. Thank you for staying, but please enjoy yourself. <laughs> Go watch me die a million times and be sad. That's the best part of Rain World. So once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in Valhalla.